hello class uh, in this video I am going to tell you a program uh, the pattern program using nested loop here you can see the uh, pattern I have used only two patterns using these two patterns you can design many more okay uh, the first pattern is this the you can see here this uh, first line contains one star second line contains two star then three star then four star okay and uh, in second pattern you can see here the first line contains one star two star three star and so on you can see the patterns both the patterns are same but only one difference uh, is here that here before this single printing there is many space how many space the space 1 space 2 space 3 and space 4 okay there are many spaces okay only space is different here but the patterns uh, printing is same logic is same in this pattern 1 if I use space that will be converted in pattern 2 how it is possible okay first let me tell you about the pattern one okay this is pattern one how can we do this pattern one okay to perform the pattern one you can see here in line number one how many lines are there you can see the four lines are there one two three and four four lines are there and uh, in this four line if I tell uh, if I use one line by line then you can see here in line number one printing one line number two printing two line number three printing three line number four printing four it means we can see here the line number in which the line number we will perform the printing operation we will print the number of a star as per the line number okay it means if we have line number five then five printing will be there if we have line number 10 10 pr 10 printing will be there okay this is the basic logic it means we need a loop that performs the line and another loop within that loop that performs the printing one printing two printing three printing four printing okay it means there is need of two loops okay how here you can see I have designed the class class name is pat1 psvm okay psvm and ps uh, i have taken two uh, variables i and j uh, one more thing i have not uh, terminated this j okay uh, the, just terminate in your copy uh, use the semicolon sign to terminate this line i uh, have missed that point okay okay after that here you can see I have used a loop uh, i is equal to 1 i is less than 4 and i plus plus this will show your line how many lines are there in the pattern four lines okay that's why I have uh, used a loop from 1 to 4 four lines are there after that in four lines in each line we have to perform printing operation so that I have taken a loop again in this loop okay and this loop is this loop is responsible for line and this loop is responsible for printing okay here you can see the printing i is equal to 1 to i uh, j is equal to 1 to j is less than equal to i it means if i is equal to 1 this will uh, uh, this will uh, this loop will perform one printing if i is equal to 2 here then this will do uh, this will perform this loop will perform two printing okay whatever the number of i is here that time the number of printing will be performed okay okay come to the point if i is equal to 1 it means here if i is equal to 1 then this loop will go on one time i plus plus i will be 2 this loop will go two time i plus plus i will be 3 this loop will go three time i plus plus it means this loop will go four time okay 
because here the condition i is less than equal to 4 that's why the 4 line will be repeated and 4 time this printing operation will be performed okay here you can see the concept okay and this uh, how, how uh, let let me tell you only one repetition suppose the i is equal to 1 i is less than 4 yes it is true okay come to the next loop i is j is equal to 1 j is equal to 1 i is equal to 1 j is less than equal to 1 it means j means 1 i means 1 1 is less than no 1 is equal to yes it means j is equal to i this time that's why the printing will be performed one time printing printing will be performed okay after that j plus plus j will be 2 2 is less than equal to 1 false this will go in the next line here <coughs> it means after one printing line will be changed changed okay this is responsible to change the line okay and after line line change this will go to the first loop here you can see this will go to the first loop okay here the first loop will be repeated again and in repeating the first loop second inner loop will be continue again okay it means i is equal to i plus plus i will be 2 it means this loop starts from 1 to 2 it means 2 printing will be there i plus plus i will be 3 this loop starts from 1 to 3 then 3 printing will be there and this printing will go on till the i is equal to i is less than 4 okay and after that just close your main and close your class this is this is for your pattern 1 and same thing I have used here but only one difference that is your space and how can we perform the space here you can see the class name is pad2 psvm i is equal to <coughs> i and j i have taken here the variable and one more variable i have to take i have not written here just you have to write let me tell you mind this point you have to write uh, uh, one more variable s because i have used s here okay here you can see the s is here that's why you have to write s and terminate also okay same thing i uh, starts from 1 to 5 it means this is responsible for your uh, this loop responsible for your uh, um, uh, line and this s s is equal to s is uh, 1 and s is less than equal to 5 minus i 5 minus i why i have written this line because you have to see a logic i have written here okay here you can see the logic is uh, uh, the total printing you can see here the total printing and before this star printing you can see in each line in in first line the space suppose the dot is uh, space the space one space two space three space four after space there is a printing same thing space one space two space three after space there is a two printing okay with space 1 space 2 after space there is a 3 printing okay it means uh, each line in each line first we have to uh, print the space and after that we have to perform the uh, printing operation star printing operation same thing i have performed here this loop the first loop is responsible for your line and the second loop is responsible your space printing in decreasing order okay and the third loop is responsible for your printing operation okay you have to know about this printing operation okay this is space printing operation in decreasing order how it is in decreasing order okay because s is equal to 1 and 5 minus i what is the value of 5 first time i is equal to 1 5 minus 1 5 minus 1 means 4 then first time this will print the 4 space okay and here you can see the first time there is need of 4 spaces okay and second time there is need of 3 space let me check it will be print the 3 space or not 
okay here you can see i is equal to i in second line i will be 2 i plus plus i will be 2 and 5 minus 2 that will be 3 it means in for second line for second line this will perform three times this will be performed three times it means three spaces will be printed here okay and this work perform uh, this work will go on for the next lines okay and after the space printing the star printing here you can see the star printing will be performed like in this example you have seen okay the this loop here and this printing loop are same because the patterns are same here you can see the patterns are same only the space is different here that's why the before printing there is need of this space okay uh, just you can see here the whole program uh, try this program if you have any doubt you can ask me and uh, okay and do other programs from your book and uh, perform the other uh, patterns like uh, uh, here star uh, only the star I have uh, used in printing operation you can use the numbers and alphabets for printing operation okay do the program by own and uh, if you have any doubt you can ask me thank you